Hello everybody. Welcome back to a red shirt video. My name's Keith. We're back here working in the barn today. I haven't been here in probably a month to do any work. Um, I think in the last episode of this series, you would have seen me build this wall and the uh, floor, get it framed up. Previous video to that, I blew this wall out and rebuilt it because this end of the barn was rotted. In today's video, what I hope to get done is get the plumbing roughed in for the commode and the sink and get it run out under the barn going to the septic system. In case you didn't know, this stuff is gold. This stick of pipe right here cost me $50. This is the heavy stuff. And I wouldn't have used it for this barn except I couldn't find anything to mate up to all these other pieces that I need. So I've been buying and collecting pieces for a few days and uh, I think I'm ready to get started over here. So uh, come along, let's, uh, See if we can get this done. Measuring the bottom of the commode in a quick Google search tells me that the center of the flange needs to be 12 inches away from the finished wall. I'm trying to determine how long the next piece of pipe that I cut needs to be. Measure twice. Cut once. This is the tail piece that will go under the wall and out to the septic system.
Well, I thought I was recording that last little bit. Either I wasn't or the camera shut off, but either way, I put a block in right here, screwed it in, and then I put some plumber's tape right here and some plumber's tape right here. So this is held really solid. Um, this <clears throat> is ready to put the floor down and then this would drop in there. This over here uh, will be the drain where I'm going to tie in the drain for the sink. Um, I don't have all that mapped out yet. One thing I want to express here is how tight this room is. It's only four by eight, which is one sheet of plywood. There's not enough room for me to be in that room and lay the plywood down. So I was worried about how to get the plywood down and get that pipe through the hole. So I tied a piece of string on it. And then as I lower it down, I pull the string Center. A little bit off. I may try to cut on it some more. I don't know. But I'm happy that pipe came through like it did. So I think I'm going to declare this stage of the plumbing complete. Everything's roughed in. <clears throat> I got the uh, drain line finished this morning. Now the way it worked out, this water line is pretty close to it, but I can work with that. I'll cut it off lower and put a, uh, a uh, hose fitting on it. <clears throat> but there's the drain for my sink. And that could have been higher, but it's not going to matter. And then it uh, comes over here in the T, so it'll drain down into that 4-inch sewer line right there. And then coming up here. I've never used one of these, but my neighbor told me about it. Um, it's like a breathable cap. It lets, the, it lets the good air in when the sink or the commode needs to breathe. And then it uh, 
it prevents the bad air from escaping. So in the future, if we have a problem, I guess that's where it's going to be. But yeah, so I'm going to just clear this stage of the plumbing done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, this bottom plate of the wall is uh, too low. And so I'm going to put some pieces in there so that when I put my uh, wood up on the wall, it'll have something to grab onto. And uh, that'll be the next thing I'll put. I'll put the blocking in there and then I'll start uh, putting the wooden walls up. So if you're wondering what I'm doing by just putting these half sheets up, I have a bunch of wood collected, um, stuff that I bought, weren't down. Some of it's in my garage, been there for years. Uh, this stuff right here, I bought and it was uh, about half price. It was uh, seconds. <clears throat> Anyway, I have some nicer wood that I want to put on the walls, but I don't have enough to do all the walls. Um, so I had an idea I'm going to put the nicer wood on top. And uh, when I redid this roof on the barn, I ended up with a bunch of barn tin. And so that's what I'm going to be doing down here. This is just uh, to put the tin up against. So <clears throat> I'll end up with a wings coating of uh, barn tin down here. And then up there, I guess I can stain it or paint it, whatever I want to do. I also have <clears throat> some uh, molding that I've had for years that I'm going to use as a chair rail molding to put around. So you'll have a barn tin to molding and then the nicer wood up top. And then on the roof, on the ceiling, I have some uh, tongue and groove shiplap that I got marked down. So uh, I'm using what I have and uh, trying to be cheap about it. And hopefully it'll come out looking pretty good. You ever got to move a bunch of plywood or sheetrock? You need one of these. Very handy tool. So I think I'm going to have to call it quits for today. Well, for this trip. <clears throat> so this will probably make a video. I got one sheet of plywood wafer board on the outside of this wall this sidewall 
and I'm going to uh, cut a partial sheet to go up top so that that whole side wall will be that wafer board plywood. Then on the inside, uh, I've got done whatever I can. I got the floor screwed down. And of course, I got the plumbing finished up this morning. I've got the uh, half walls up and there will be tin, roofing tin going over that. And then on the top part, I have some uh, smooth quarter inch plywood that's going to go up there and probably be painted or leave it wood. I don't know. Uh, but it'll, it'll one way or another, it'll be wood and the bottom will be tin. And then the top up here, I've got this, uh, what do they call that? Shit, uh, is it shiplap or is it a boxcar siding? I think that's what it's called. Tongue and groove. So that will be cut into four foot lengths and then put on top up on the ceiling. Um, and then in here, uh, I'm going to put some foam in those cracks before I leave. And under here, I'm going to put some foam around that and I'm going to put some foam around each of those pipes. Like I said, uh, when I laid that water line, I had no idea what was going to be what or where it was going to be. The drain is almost exactly where it needs to be for the sink um, without me having to cut another stud. So I put it up against that stud. But like I said, what I'll do, I can move that. I can move that over just a little bit and then uh, cut it off down low and put a, uh, a cutoff valve on there and then I'll put a hose which will be flexible going up to the sink and this will just be a cold water sink not a uh, hot water I'll have the hot water blocked off so I would say uh, one to two more trips one more trip I could have this bathroom functional if I had water out here which I don't yet there's where I'm gonna hook it up to and then I'm gonna dig a trench probably behind that stove and follow this wall up and under the barn or under the door right there and then coming out it'll be right along here and it's got to meet up with that faucet it'll come in due time it'll happen right now I'm doing what I can do and uh, we're making progress so signing off